My point here, I think people don't care so much about the animals, even though if you get upset about the killing of animals, then that also means that you are partaking in it, which in a way makes you bad. Hey, what is up guys? So PewDiePie, one of the largest YouTubers basically of all time, has recently dropped a video where he's essentially logically siding with vegans. And I just wanted to cover it today, what the implications of this might be. And just hopefully, you know, if he sees this video, I want to let him know about how there is a logical side to veganism or a logical side to the vegan movement and that he won't be so much shown as a crazy vegan if he takes a specific approach and to show him that, you know, people like me and, you know, you guys as well are reasonable, logical vegans and that just going vegan is not necessarily a thing that will make you look like someone who's unreasonable or crazy. And if you actually watch the video, it seems like he's, again, like logically on our side, but there's something that is kind of making him hesitate and it probably has to do with not wanting to lose followers or not wanting to seem crazy or something like that. So I just want to make this video to show just that there are vegans out there like me who are perfectly reasonable people that aren't insane, that are, aren't going to scream at him and all these kinds of things, and that just want to live a lifestyle that doesn't involve using animals and causing animal cruelty. It's really that simple. But yeah, I don't think it's likely he'll see this video because, you know, my channel is pretty small relative to his. But you never know. The YouTube algorithm works in mysterious ways and you really just never know. So let's get on with the video. But, mo and I think most people don't like to see animals in pain. But if you look at inside a lot of uh, industries where the, how they treat animal behind the scenes inside these farms or inside the, or the way they're killed, it's uncomfortable. People wouldn't like it. I guarantee you, you wouldn't like it. At least in the, in the mass, mass killing and mass production, at least. Um, I'm not talking about local farms. My point here, I think people don't care so much about the animals, even though if you get upset about the killing of animals then that also means that you are partaking in it which in a way makes you bad so this is absolutely great i mean pewdiepie has such a large audience and you've seen you know in this recent clip that he is clearly aware of the logical inconsistency of being an animal lover or being against animal cruelty and then deciding to pay for innocent animals to be slaughtered and be raised in factory farms now pewdiepie you did mention that in local farms it might not be an issue or you kind of imply that in local farms it might not be an issue and that you're really just talking about factory farms well of course, these animals that are raised on local farms are still having their lives taken against their will. They're still being viewed as commodities and resources. So I understand where you're coming from, where you think that, you know, factory farms are the issue. But if you think about it a little bit deeper, you'll understand that regardless of how you raise the animal, if you raise them very nicely, it's really hard to justify taking these animals' lives against their will at one fourth their natural lifespan solely because you raise them nicely. You know, if you like raise a dog nicely, for example, in the same way that you raise a cow nicely on a local farm, we know that it's not going to be moral to just take the dog's life against its will so you can eat it just because you raise it nicely or you raise it on a local farm. So I understand where you're coming from when you're saying that factory farms are the issue and that you're not really talking about local farms, but the actual moral issue of killing an animal against its will, okay, still exists when you are raising an animal locally, raising them in a factory farm and all that. So I just wanted to clear that up for you, PewDiePie, just in case you haven't thought about it. A lot of non-vegans have not thought about this, but yeah, it's not really just factory farms that are the issue. It's the actual act of viewing animals as resources and products putting a price tag on their existence and all that. So that applies to local farms, that applies to factory farms, etc. Cancel culture is all about calling out other people bad so I can feel good, but you can't really do that when you look at animal issues and how they're treated. Cause it's like, well, you <laughs> you have to at least uh, be a vegan or a vegetarian to do that, which is why they are so annoying. <laughs> so this is also great. I mean, he did say vegan or vegetarian to do that. Now, of course we know that when it comes to being vegetarian, you are supporting dairy and eggs, which is also a very exploitative industry that also involves killing animals. So maybe PewDiePie just isn't aware of this, but yeah, vegetarians really shouldn't be viewed as like animal lovers in the same way that vegans are because vegetarians are still paying for innocent animals to be viewed as commodities for their excretions and eggs and all that. But anyway, this is still great to me. You know, the fact that he has such a large following and he's pointing out the fact that you really, if you have an issue with animal cruelty, you should be a vegan. And you know, he said vegetarian, but you know, we just covered why that wasn't really reasonable to say. But yeah, I think this is awesome. And again, his channel is so big. So like, I mean, even though he got the whole vegetarian part wrong, just the fact that he's saying these things, you know it's gonna spark some interest in some of his followers and it might provoke them to actually look into veganism. Which is why they are so annoying. <laughs> he also says at the end of the clip, which is why vegans are so annoying now, yeah, I mean, people think vegans are annoying because we are coming at them with an inconvenient truth. We are inducing cognitive dissonance in them. Just imagine being a person who proclaims himself as an animal lover, and then a vegan comes up to you and says, hey, the choices that you're making three times a day that you are 
already used to, like your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and all these things, they actually involve animal cruelty, and you might need to make a lifestyle change, an overall lifestyle change, to be consistent with your love for animals. Now, this is obviously a very annoying thing to hear. Having to change your entire lifestyle sucks, but it is at least something that you should be doing or trying to do when coming into the face of these reasonable arguments that really dictate that you should be changing your habits for the sake of these animals that you claim to love. And this whole phase that PewDiePie is in right now it really reminds me of the phase that I was in when my brother initially came at me with the vegan arguments. I really didn't have any argument against what he was saying, but I still wasn't changing my habits. And I was just aware of the hypocrisy. And of course, over time, it just ate at me and I kept watching more footage and I really was just so inclined and compelled to eventually go vegan. So the phase that he is in right now is pretty cool. I mean, he's in that phase of like acknowledging at least that it's hypocritical. And you know, maybe what's stopping him from going vegan is not wanting his audience to like be lost or whatever, or alienating his audience or whatever, just because he doesn't want them to think that he's like a pushy vegan. So PewDiePie, if you're listening, I just want to let you know that you can operate as a vegan without pushing people away. You can just give the reasonable, logical arguments and that's it. Now, of course, there's always going to be people that are offended, okay? Like, it doesn't matter how nicely you say something. If something induces cognitive dissonance in a person, they might be offended anyway, but we have to understand that the level of offense that you might cause to these people is not actually comparable to the cruelty that's happening to these animals. So, yes, you may offend people even if you take a reasonable and logical approach like the one you're seeing me take in this video today, but the fact that people are gonna get offended, you know, I mean, you really have to just disregard this because you really have such a large audience, and I'm sure that you know, as I know, that as your audience grows, there's a higher possibility that there's gonna be more people that disagree with you, that get offended, more people that agree with you. It's just, there's an overall increase in people, so the likelihood of people disagreeing is gonna be higher, and you have a very large audience. So, regardless, I'm sure people are going to be offended, and I'm sure you've said things in the past about other things that have offended other people, but, I really think that if you just take the logical and reasonable approach, you're going to keep your fan base and you really are going to be doing a great thing for the animals because you're going to be showing the logical inconsistencies and all these kinds of things. And I have to stress this again, dude, your audience is massive. So you can really have a massive difference. And I don't want you to think that we're not like acknowledging the fact that you've donated millions to charities. We've all seen that and it's obviously great, but this is also just another thing you could be helping with if you're willing. That is the end of the video, guys. Just wanted to make this because PewDiePie has such a large reach and I want him to know that there is a subset of vegans like myself and like you guys that are reasonable, that are logical, that aren't coming across as crazy, and we really just want people to stop paying for innocent animals to be murdered, exploited, and killed, or whatever, against their will. That just is a problem to us, and I don't think it's too crazy to suggest that people, instead of grabbing the dairy milk, just grab the soy milk, etc. Please share this with PewDiePie if you can. I really don't think this video is going to reach him, just again because of the size of my channel, but you never know. So if you could possibly share this with him, that would be great. I really want him to understand that you can be a vegan and be reasonable and not seem like a crazy person. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please send this to PewDiePie if you can. Like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy my content and want to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.